Hey guys, welcome back. So today is going to be a little sit down with candy video. It's time to have a little talk. Did I know that this video is going to be coming today of all days? What's the date today? Wednesday, July 24th, 2024. 7 24, 2024. Interesting date. Um, I wanted to film this outside, but I got all set up out there and I was like, wow, it's, it doesn't look like a humid day, but it is. So I'm set up here in my living room just because we had the nice direct sunlight behind us. This conversation is coming after numerous conversations with friends and Ken and even Carly today and um, I think sometimes I shock myself when I'm having conversations with people and then I'm like, did I just say that out loud? Is this really how I feel? Wow, like sometimes I shock myself and uh, yeah, here we are. Um, I woke up this morning, I'm like, I think today's the day. I think I'm gonna say what I have to say and we're gonna go with it and see what happens. And I right away got out my phone, started writing some things down, because I feel like either, this always happens to me. First thing in the morning or late at night especially are like my best thoughts. And I want to start writing it down because then later on as the day goes on, I'm like, wait, what? What was I thinking? What did I want to say? I'm getting like to that age where things never like sound as good later on when I want to say them as they do when I first have the thought. So I'm sorry if that's going to be annoying to anybody, but I want to make sure like I say things correctly or <laughs> like how I really feel. Um, especially when I'm just like talking, talking, talking. I just want to get it right. Um, <laughs> right before I turned on the camera, this thought hit me of how I also want to like preface this by saying like I'm also a human being especially a woman who, let's face it, we change our minds like the sky changes color. How I feel today could change a month from now. It could change a year from now. Like, you know, nothing's ever written in stone. And sometimes I struggle to even comprehend how I'm feeling that I'll like Google whatever it is that's on the tip of my tongue and I found this like blog post or whatever. And I was like, yes, that's what I was trying to say. So I wanted to read this. It says, to live is to inherently accept that we never quite know what's happening. Life is a jumbled, crazy journey filled with twisting and varying paths. Some paths intersect, some loop back on themselves. Some bring us to crossroads filled with choices. No one can be certain of every step. Plus, there's the fact that we must allot for change. We are dynamic beings. We grow and learn. We develop and change our vantage point. We do not stay the same. As women, we are complex beings with choices, regrets, confusions, and questions. We don't have everything figured out, no matter how old or wise we are. We change our minds. We get lost sometimes. We lose sight of who we are or what we want to be. Life isn't always filled with simple to answer questions. Life is murky and confusing. We get misled sometimes, and sometimes we simply have trouble listening to our gut. I just felt like that really strongly kind of reflected what I was feeling going into this conversation I'm about to have with you guys. I made my first YouTube video June of 2010. That was 14 years ago. 10 of those years, YouTube has been my career and I'm forever grateful. Just gotta get that out of the way. It still seems surreal it still seems so much of it like a dream. The fact that I was able to be a person who started out something as a hobby and was able to experience so many different things that 
it's just not normal. Let's just face it, not normal. Um, I'll never ever be able to stop feeling grateful for that like chapter of our lives, you know, building our dream home, the travel, the laughs, the arguments, um, just all of it that our family got to experience. Just that has to be said right off the bat. Thinking about my future and moving forward, I think the hardest part for me has always been like letting go. Um, not so much the acceptance of it'll never be what it once was, the viral videos, the posting a video and it getting a hundred thousand views within its first hour, you know, things like that. Like we always knew those days were coming. The hardest part for me was always more the like, when to know to let go. When to know that it was okay to make the decision to move on to something else, you know? Waiting for that sign, you know, that it's gonna be okay. You guys know that I cry a decent amount. Um, I lead life, I go through life, I should say, um, with a lot of emotion. <laughs> I tell Ken all the time, like, just because I'm crying doesn't mean I'm sad, doesn't mean I'm depressed, doesn't mean I'm unhappy. I'm just an emotional person. I feel everything. And I think for me, the emotional part of YouTube, my career on YouTube, has been knowing when it's okay to let go. Knowing when it's okay to say, maybe it's time to close this chapter, be grateful for the ride that you've had, and focus your efforts on something else. Now, I'm not trying to freak everybody out. I'm not quitting, okay? I don't think I know how to quit. So I can't use that word because I don't want to say, you're never going to see me post again because I don't think I can do that. Not at this point in time. I don't think that would be good for my own mental health. I'm just not ready to say those words. But what I do want to do at this point in time is just no longer have an expectation for myself, for this channel, or for you guys watching. I would really love to just throw it out there that for future reference, my new motto is going to be, I'll see you when I see you. That's how I'm going to end my videos. That's my new outro. I'll see you when I see you. It's no longer Tuesdays and Thursdays at 11 a.m. Or whatever time that typically is for when you watch. There are a lot of thoughts and conversations and feelings that have gone into me making this decision and I could clearly sit here for the next hour and share all those with you guys. I think to summarize it, a lot of it comes down to just really my limitations on content. I can share with you guys what I do with my life and a lot of it has somewhat gotten repetitive because let's face it how much cooking and cleaning and decorating and shopping and golfing and gardening and exercising and you get my drift can i do it's it makes me sometimes feel guilty to share the same stuff with you guys as much as i know in the comments you're always reassuring me that don't worry you love to see it and i appreciate that more than you guys know However, the channel has always been our family nest, and I wish I could share more of my family, but I respect my family's wishes. And as you guys know, every single one of them has just certain things that they want to keep private or they just don't want to be in the videos at all. 
And as time has gone on, I have just found that to be more and more challenging. And I think it's just going to continue to be that way. So as I've always envisioned for the future, things that I would... Okay, great. Ken just came home and interrupted my whole train of thought. Okay, we were talking about... I wish I could share more and I wish I could film more, but due to the kids, you know, requests for privacy and that sort of thing, and, you know, even Andrew and Corey, you know, they're on YouTube and the things they want to share, like, before I can talk about it or share, I just feel that there's so much, like, rules and restrictions and, I don't know, sometimes it just feels like... Is it worth the effort? <laughs> you know what I mean? And then it's like, um, Ken and I had a conversation the other day and I was like super emotional. And again, this is going back to, like I said, sometimes I don't realize things wholly until I say them. And I was like, do I even know who I am outside of YouTube? Like, can I go out and do an activity without filming it? Like, can I go do something without explaining it while I'm doing it? Can I go on a vacation and then just enjoy it without sharing it to a camera or like having a camera in my hand? Like, I know I'm not filming 24 seven, but I guess unless you've been a YouTuber or a vlogger, or I hate the word influencer, but you don't understand how it's like in your brain 24 7 where you're like gosh i should be filming this gosh i should be sharing this and sometimes you do it and you don't think twice or sometimes you don't do it and then you feel guilty about not doing it and after doing it it's, it's weird to write down that like oh i've been doing it for 14 years 10 of it as a career and you're like, that's not even really that long in the grand scheme of things when you think about how many years, like, someone's a lawyer or a doctor or an accountant, you know what I mean? Like, 10 years, big whoop, that's nothing. But when you're thinking of your life every single day, and it's not just 9 to 5, it's all the time, you know? Sometimes I'm not even turning the camera on until evening time. I don't know, it just feels like... I'm trapped <laughs> sometimes. There's so many good parts to it, but there's so many bad parts at the same time. I guess I'm just like to the point of, I, what I said to Kevin is, I, I, I need a taste of how does it feel to not do this? Like, will I miss it? I, I really don't know. So there's so many like little aspects to this of like, you could call it whatever you want. You could call it taking a break. You could call it seeing if I miss it. You could just call it cutting back. You could call it, I feel like just, I wanna film when I feel like it. And I don't even know, is this gonna be once a week? Is it gonna be maybe one week? It's gonna be three times. Maybe then it won't be for three weeks. Maybe it's gonna be once a month. Maybe there'll be a whole month with nothing. Like I have zero idea what this is going to look like. And I feel like that is sort of the scary part, but at the same time, the most refreshing part is there's no rules, no expectations as of today. <laughs> Will that change again a month from now? Maybe, I don't know. I just feel like I need to put it out in the atmosphere that I need to just do this for myself, for my future, for Ken and I's future, because this is no longer my career. This is not going to help Ken and I's future. This is not, you know, going to make or break our future plans, none of that. You know what I mean? This is all for, you know, sharing, like saving memories, sharing our lives. Like it's more so like doing it 
for myself. I do, there's so much of it that I do enjoy. You guys know I love to talk. I love to share. I love to feel heard. Like it's such a huge part of who I am. <laughs> Again, like, I'm gonna repeat myself. It's like I don't know who I am without this. So do I even like who I am without this? Do I like myself more without this? Do I need to figure out who I am without this? There's so many questions that I need to figure out the answer to. And I can't do that if I don't make a change. And it needs to be a big change. It needs to be like, you know, wipe the slate clean and just figure it out. And it's so funny because I'll have a conversation with Ken and he'll be like, you know, how, how can you quit? Why would you quit? And then I say X, Y, Z, and then he's like, oh yeah, you should quit. You know, it's like, he's so supportive of whatever it is that I want to do, which makes it worse because I don't know what I want to do. It's like, I want him to figure it out for me, but he's never going to do that. So I have to figure this out for myself. And the only way I'm going to figure that out is trying something different. And this is the only way I'm going to be able to do that. Um, when you guys, what you don't see on camera here lately, like if I haven't been out golfing or working around the yard or, you know, just doing normal life stuff, I've been working my butt off helping Ken lady, late lady, lately with our recruiting company and even doing some billboard stuff. And uh, I've been loving it. I've been discovering some new ways to do some things that in the past um, were methods we didn't use. And just things have changed since the last time. I think the last time I really gave 100% to our company was probably back in maybe 2015 and a lot's changed since then um it's it's been nine years and um i'm just really enjoying the new challenge and i want to kind of continue with that and help him and the other day he was like god i could have used this help a long time ago like you know some things that i'm learning and doing and figuring out that he has never done could really make a huge difference with our company. And um, I don't know, I wanna see what that leads to. This could be short term, this could be long term. Who knows? Thinking about like what else is in the plan for the future, there is no plan. And I think that's what's kind of great. Like so much of my life over the past 20, 30 years has been all about focusing on taking care of other people, raising my kids, taking care of the house. Um, this is like the years for Ken and I. Like, I feel like my relationship with Ken, I mean, he is my best friend. We do a lot together <laughs> and our relationship has never been better. I feel so just lucky and grateful that we work together. We're able, like, we just enjoy doing the same things together. And I don't know, I'm just looking forward to focusing on, I don't know, bigger and better things wherever life takes us next. I think my promise to you guys is, is I'm not gonna just like disappear and you're never gonna see me again I wouldn't do that to you guys like this is not going to be the last video ever I will be back at some point I just don't know like I'm not gonna make a schedule I'm excited I want you guys to be happy for me and be excited about what this new change could bring one last thing that I wanted to share, if you're interested in this type of thing, I told you earlier how I like to Google things that um, are like in my head, but I can't like find the right words and I like to save them. Sometimes they inspire me. I found this article that's called Feeling Lost in Your 50s, 15 Easy Ways for Finding Purpose in Your Life After 50. I found it one day and the funny thing was is most of the things on the list were things 
things that I'm like already doing. And I just love to check it once in a while because it just helps me like reaffirm to myself that I'm like already doing all these things that's helping me, I don't know, feel better about myself, feel better about my life, being on like a good path that I'm working on, like all these different aspects that are making me just feel like I'm not putting too much energy in just like one thing, if that makes sense. But then I'm also allowing this time in my life to be about me. And I think that's okay. Try to find some time for yourself here and there. Find a hobby, write in your journal, make time for exercise. Not just because it's good for your health, but it's good for your mind, good for your soul, just Again, I just wish I would have been better at doing these things a long time ago. Okay, with that being said, if you have any questions for me, if I forgot to cover any topics or whatnot, drop them in the comments down below. I always read my comments. I'll answer any questions. I love you guys. Thank you always for your support. I really appreciate you guys. And guess what? I'll see you when I see you.